Let's do our makeup. I start off with our primer. Even if I don't wear any makeup, I put our primer on. So even if I'm just gonna be home all day, I'm gonna put a little bit on my lids because I'm gonna be putting my mineral powder on as an eyeshadow soon. So I'm gonna show you that. And it's so silky smooth. So it's gonna prepare your skin, it's gonna smooth it out and really create a nice um, smooth surface. And the ingredients of it, it's so great for moisturizing your skin. It helps to reduce the appearance of the pores, fine lines, wrinkles, all of those things. Um, you're gonna need a primer for this. The big difference between a liquid foundation and a tinted moisturizer is that the liquid foundation is gonna have more coverage where the tinted moisturizer is going to have more skincare in it. I've got my Kabuki brush right here and I'm just gonna show you, put a little bit right on there. Oh, you look sad, let's make him happy. There you go, put him a little happy smile. Okay, now he's happy. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna dab it on there and then a circle, circle. And then I'm gonna go right underneath my chin, right here, and then a little bit to my ears as well. You can see there's a little bit of like a natural glow that comes with the tinted moisturizer, which I really love. If you're looking for a finish that is a little more matte, I would recommend doing the liquid foundation for coverage and then adding our powder on top of it. But if you look for looking for like a more of like a glow, like a natural glow, you would look at the tinted moisturizer. The bronzer highlighter duo is amazing. It's called Sugar and Spice. It is delicious and I love the compact. It's a baked powder. The big difference is that a pressed powder usually has the dome finish like this, but it adds extra preservatives to keep that dome. For a baked powder, like what this is, and our other eyeshadow, baked eyeshadows, it has a different process that it goes through to keep that dome shape that doesn't have the extra um, ingredients in it that really are unnecessary. I'm gonna show you guys the blush today. It has the sifter, and see the sifter turns around, makes it very easy to control how much comes out, and then it's also great for traveling. This color is hibiscus, and I'm just gonna put it right into my lid. There Brand new kabuki brush comes like this. These kabuki brushes are amazing. If you don't have one, you definitely want to grab one. It's so soft. You can see how the bristles, they just bend and they're so beautiful. It can be warmed up and then it turns it into a cream and it just flows so beautiful on your skin. I love this color. So I probably should have showed you guys the concealer first, but I got a little excited. I love that coloring, it's so pretty. So that's the hibiscus. I'm gonna blend it in a little bit as we do more with our concealers. We've got our concealers. We've got a good neutral tone, we've got a green, and then we have our pink. And the pink is going to be for, especially great for like under eyes. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that. The green, if you look on the color wheel, it's actually the opposite of a red. So if you've got blemishes and things you're trying to hide, the green will help to conceal blemishes. And then um, the neutral kind of color tone, we've got I think three of these colors now for different skin tones. You use this for essentially any other blemish that you're trying to hide. And the pink one is called a brightening and you'll see why. So I'm just gonna put just the smallest amount right here. This is our concealing brush. So you can see it's a little flat on one side and then around on the other. I'm spraying it with our setting spray. So I'm gonna talk about this one again in a minute. And that just gives a little bit of moisture. And then I'm gonna blend that in. You see how it immediately takes away that kind of under color? I love this brightening. This is the one that um, you guys love the most too. There's so many things you can do with this brightening one. I've seen you can do on the inside to open up your eyes. You can do above your brow. So I'm just gonna get a little bit on my brush and go up here. Creates a good base for eyeshadows too. This pink brightening concealer. It's I'm gonna use the highlighter part with my angled blush brush and I'm gonna go right at the top and this is what I would highlight would be the parts that I would want to look raised. So like the tops of my cheekbones right here to give good structure. Maybe right here and along this T-zone. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Probably. Okay, I'm gonna show you one, another one of our baked eyeshadow trios. This one is called Java Obsession. I love the colors in it. You've, you've got your dark crease. You've got like a good medium all over and then a good highlighter. I'm gonna use our eyeshadow brush. 
And I'm gonna start with our medium. This one's kind of dark. Even if you are not going anywhere, you can still get dressed up. I'll get dressed up with you guys too. If you wanted to go darker, you would just use that crease color, which is usually the darkest one when you have a trio. And then I'm gonna go with my lighter one. And this is my highlighter, so remember I used the pink up here. Also imagine like, so your eyeball being that like rounded sphere. When you're painting, if you want to create the illusion of a sphere, you make the rounded part that's closest to you the lightest. So what you're doing for your eye is the same thing. You're putting the lightest color at the part that's closest to you and essentially putting a little dot here with a lighter color. So I'm gonna do that on both. So let's do eyebrows. Eyebrows is my favorite. I'm gonna start off with my dual brush bristles on one side and then an angled eyeliner brush on the other. I'm gonna use the bristles and just kind of get it where I want it. And then we're gonna use our brow pomade. I have the medium. You see the medium color and you see how dark my eyebrows are and I still like using the medium. I'm gonna put a little bit on both sides of my liner and then I'm going to start in the widest part of my eyebrow right here. And this is a, has a wax consistency to it, so it actually helps with your eyebrows to stay in place too. I lengthen mine by making it a little bit longer than what my eyebrows are. I can form where I want the arch to be. So you kind of, this is not straight, but kind of the idea is that it goes through the center and then from the edge of your nostril. Get the other one and then we'll brush it out. One thing to remember too when you're doing your eyebrows is they really don't have to be identical. A phrase I've heard is they're more like snowflakes instead of twin sisters. I love our brow pomade. Our brow pomade is my favorite makeup product. You can get it as a set, and if you don't know what you're doing, one point brow set. Well, it comes with stencils as well. So if you really are just starting off adding brows, um, you can use the one with the stencil, and that will give you a very good idea of, um, of how you want to shape your brows. Our mascara is organic. It is a matte look to it. I'm going to show you guys the brown. It uses, um, so coffee extracts for color and then rice extracts to create the length. It was after you've been putting minerals on your eyelids, um, they naturally are going to fall on your eyelashes and it's going to create a little bit more volume as well. So that's why I try to save the mascara for last. Another trick that you can do is do mascara very first and then those minerals will fall on top of the first layer and create even more volume as you put the second layer on at the end. I love knowing what the ingredients are so close to my eyes because I wear that's the one thing I wear every day. So the good final way to take care of your makeup to make it last all day is the set and refresh. It is hydrating. It oh the ingredients are so good for your skin. Um, I use this even. Um, even if I'm not wearing makeup, because listen to some of the ingredients. It's like um, green tea, it has black willow bark extract, uh, neroli flower oil, jojoba oil. Um, it's just, it's just, that's like, it's just all good for your skin. Or right, on top of your makeup, you just spray like this and it will refresh in any part during the day. Lips, let's not forget lips. Okay. Our lipsticks have a scent of vanilla to them. And as you can see, they go on very creamy. Gorgeous colors too. This one is called Lavish. All right, so this is Lavish. All right, so this is our after. Thanks for doing my makeup with me. Um, let me know what tip or trick you learned or maybe one of the colors that you especially loved. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you had any other questions or comments, let me know below. All right, thanks guys, bye.